Hey guys and welcome to a new tutorial. This here is Wolpedia Colors Yarn and this is Color Virus. Of course for the virus shawl. So here you see the same color but it's just another direction. So here from rose to violet or yeah how you call it in English and here from violet to rose but it's the same color. What you see here is 1000 meters, but I will use only 500 because this is enough for me. It's also okay for kids, but I should say that most people like 750 meters or even 1000 meters for their wire shawl. So let's get started. We are going to use a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and you will need a tapestry needle for sewing your end. You can just pull the yarn out of the middle and it will stand still. Please find the written crochet pattern on our website woolpedia.de. You can find all the links also for the materials in the description box. So this video pattern is especially for beginners, very slow and there are five parts. Start with a slip knot. For this form a ring, put the long strand under the ring and pull the yarn through the ring. You should get a loop. Insert your hook through the loop and tighten. This is your slip knot. Now chain 10 stitches. For this, yarn over and pull through. This is number one. Now join this chain to a circle. Insert your hook through the first stitch, yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. This is a slip stitch. Now chain three. This counts as the first double crochet. Now crochet 19 double crochets additional through the ring. For this yarn over, insert your hook through the ring, yarn over and pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And this is your double crochet. Now you need 18 more double crochets. That's your first row. Now we are going to crochet row number two. For this chain three and turn your work. Now we're going to crochet a double crochet into each stitch. Skip the first one cause you chained already three stitches over the first one. I'm using both loops for crocheting.
try to stitch through the back purl at the last stitch or insert your hook just between the stitches. It doesn't matter which one you choose. You should have 20 stitches at all. Now we're going to crochet row 3. You start by chaining 3. Make sure your chain stitches are loose. Then turn your work, chain 1 for the space, then a double crochet through the next stitch. Chain 1. One double crochet through the next stitch. Chain one and a double crochet through the next stitch. Continue this way across the row. Finish this row with a double crochet and don't chain one at least. And this is how it looks like. So now row number four. For this row chain 10 stitches, then turn your work. Now we are going to crochet through the spaces between our double crochets. We are going to crochet a single crochet through the second space. For this insert your hook through the space, pull up a loop, you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. Then chain four. Skip the next space. One single crochet through the second space. Chain four. One single crochet through the second space. Chain four. One single crochet through the second space. So we have three small chain spaces. Now we're going to crochet two big chain spaces. Chain seven stitches for each big chain space. One single crochet through the second space. And one more big chain space. Chain seven. One single crochet through the second space. Chain four. One single crochet through the second space. Chain four. 
one single crochet through the second space. Last small chain space for this chain 4. One single crochet through the second space. Now again a big space, chain 7. Finish this round with a double crochet through the back pearl of your beginning 3 chain stitches or just between your double crochets. And that's our row number 4. You have big spaces on each side, in between small spaces and two big spaces always in the middle. For row number 5, start again with 3 chain stitches. Then turn your work. Crochet 9 double crochet through the big space. Now work a single crochet through the small space. Chain 4. And a single crochet through the next small space. Chain 4. A single crochet through the next small space. Here we have a big space. We crochet 10 double crochet through the big one. Now again a big space and we crochet also 10 double crochet through this big chain space. Then a single crochet through the small space, chain 4, a single crochet through the small space, chain 4, and a single crochet. Through the last big chain space we crochet 10 double crochets. And that is how your 5th row should look like. 